Hi everyone, this is Sam and this is actually my first YouTube video and for my first YouTube video I thought that I would do a September wrap up because I read a lot of books this month and I'm really excited to tell anybody who will listen to me about these books so I thought that would be a good idea. First of all, I'd like to apologize for the quality of this video. My regular camera that I would film with ran out of battery and I realized that I totally lost the charger. So I'm actually filming this on my phone, but in the future the video should be better. Let's get started. The first book that I read this month was Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. And I had actually read this and the sequel Hollow City about two summers ago. And I absolutely loved them when I first read them. I sped through both of them in about two to three days. And I was really excited for Library of Souls to come out, but I waited such a long time to get the book that when I finally got it, I kind of have... I kind of had forgotten how much I loved the first two books and I never ended up reading it. I let it sit on my shelf for months and when I heard that the movie was coming out I decided okay I finally have to just reread the first two and read the third one and I was definitely not disappointed. I loved the first two just as much as I remembered loving them and I actually loved the third one even better. I've heard a lot of people say that they think the series gets better as it goes on and I would have to say I agree with that. The first book I'll always love because it was my introduction to Peculiar Dumb and it was my introduction to all the characters that I love so much but the second two books kind of have darker themes and the characters go to more places and the plot elements get even more dramatic and if you really are interested in sort of an eerie read and sort of a darker read the second two books are just spot on. I love the whole series. I gave every book a five out of five I'm pretty sure. I am super excited to see the movie even though I am not totally happy with some of the changes they made. I still think it's gonna be a great watch and I am super ready to go. The second two books that I read this month were both memoirs and biographies and I know that that is not a super talked about genre on booktube but it actually happens to be my favorite genre so I do read a lot of autobiographies, memoirs, biographies and I think both of these books are really good books for anyone even people who totally aren't interested in that genre so I thought they would definitely be worth sharing with you. The first one I read was actually for a class and it's called The Unlikely Secret Agent by Ronnie Casbrills. And this is about his wife, Eleanor, who was part of the ANC during South African apartheid. And it's really about her being arrested and held captive and interrogated. Eleanor has since passed away, so the way her husband writes about her, it's apparent of just how much he admires her as a person and how strong of a woman she really was. Really full of a lot of action and it's really fast paced. It's a shorter book, so you'll honestly rip right through it. And I would definitely recommend this book. The next book that I read this month was a memoir and it's called The Sound of Gravel by Ruth Warner. And this book is a story of Ruth's childhood and her growing up in a Mormon polygamous settlement in Mexico. And it really touches upon a lot of darker themes like abuse and poverty and the darker sides of religion. And I really knew nothing about the subject matter before I opened this book, but I still found it absolutely intriguing. The entire story is fast paced, there's always something interesting happening, and the main character is really lovable and so are a lot of the side characters. There's a lot packed into this book and it just makes for such a fast paced read. It is a longer book, but I flew through it and I think it would be worthwhile for anyone to read, even if you're really not interested in the memoir genre of books, I think it does read more like a novel anyway. And I think the subject matter is really interesting too. And I gave this book a five out of five stars. And not only was it my favorite book that I read this month, but I think it was probably one of my favorite books that I've ever read. And it definitely will be going in my top 10 at some point. The next book I read this month was The Storied Life of A.J. Ferkery. Fickery? Fickery. The Storied Life of A.J. Fickery by Gabrielle Zevin and I'm sorry my copy is very messed up. I hate when they put stickers on the books and I can't get them off. But this book was highly anticipated for me because I had read Elsewhere in about fifth or sixth grade and that was my favorite book for probably about 10 years. I read that book over and over so many times and as soon as I got a little older I was really interested to read some of her adult fiction and I read Margaret Town 
and I was sort of disappointed. So I held off reading this book just because I didn't want to be disappointed again and it sat on my shelf for a while and then I decided to read it this month and I was not disappointed at all. It's a wonderful book and it's really about the effect that literature has on people's lives and I just related to that so well and I thought that all the characters were super lovable and there's so many well written and well developed characters in this story. It's not just the main character, it's almost every single character involved has their own story and their own life going on and you really can relate to any one of them. I gave this book a 4.5 out of 5 I believe and I would definitely recommend it to anyone who is a fan of anything to do with literature and I would definitely recommend it to anyone who's really looking for a heartwarming read. The last book that I read this month, which also happens to be one of my favorites that I've ever read, is It's Kind of a Funny Story by Ned Vizzini. This book, I'm not sure if it's just so well written or if it just came to me in such a perfect time in my life, but I absolutely loved this book. The main character is dealing with depression and he ends up having suicidal thoughts and he checks himself into a psychiatric hospital and the book is kind of about his stay in the hospital and his thought process while he's there and it also talks about a lot of the side characters who are also dealing with different mental health issues and I thought this book was just absolutely so relatable. I think even if you aren't dealing with depression or anxiety or any of the other things that the main character is, I think this is still a great read because it's fast paced, all of the characters are interesting, it provides you with so many lovable and funny side characters, and it also is just a great view into mental health. I think there's a lot of fiction that misrepresents mental health and misrepresents things like depression and anxiety and this book gives you a really accurate view. So even if you're not dealing with those things, I think this book is great for you to read because it may give you one of the most accurate depictions of what mental health looks like and what it feels like and I think that's really important. I would definitely recommend this book to anyone. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars and I will probably be rereading it pretty soon. I mean, I already reread parts of it, you can tell because it's so beat up, um, but I absolutely loved it. So that's it for my September wrap up. I'm going to be posting an October TBR within the next few days and I hope you'll tune in. If you liked this video, you can subscribe below and I'd love to read any comments you have about books you've read this September or any recommendations for me or any of the thoughts you've had about the books I talked about in this video and I hope you'll tune in again next time. Bye!